Hi everybody and welcome back to Junior Cycle Business Studies. In this video I'm going to bring you through the workings of, I suppose, a more complicated wage slip. So wage slip is one of the chapters that you would have covered in first year and you would have seen maybe every now and again as you progress through second and third year. This is one of the questions that I actually practice with my third years today and it's from the 2017 Junior Cert Business Studies paper, Higher Level. Okay, so 2017 paper, if you want to print one off for yourself and follow me through this video. So the first thing we'll do is read through the question. So Connor Kavanagh is employed as a manager at Bon Bon Limited. His normal working week is 35 hours, but occasionally he works overtime. His basic wage rate is 770 euro for a 35 hour week. Overtime is paid at time and a half. Uh, for the first five hours and double time for hours in excess of that. In week number five, he worked 42 hours. Connor pays PAY at the rate of 40% and PRSI USC at 10.5. His annual tax credit is 3,380. He pays 40 euro for health insurance and invests 75 euro in savings. His employer deducts both of these at source. Part one, explain the difference between basic pay and overtime. Okay, so I suppose to answer that quickly, Basic pay is the hourly rate that you will have agreed upon with your employee. Basic pay, and, and that's set upon in your contract. It might be a wage or sometimes it could possibly be a salary. Overtime then is basically any hours that you do on top of your basic agreed wage or your basic agreed um, pay, which would be for um, an hourly rate usually. Overtime is usually worth more than the normal basic pay. It's usually calculated at double time or time and a half. So part two, complete Connor's wage slip for week number five using the blank document on page 12. Okay, so I've printed off the blank document here on page 12. So the first thing we do is fill in his name. Connor. Week number five. We know that his basic pay is going to be 770. And now to calculate his overtime, I'm going to use this other box here. So, overtime. So the first thing I want to do is find his hourly rate. So that's going to be 770 divided by 35, which is his basic week. Calculator close by, 770 divided by uh, 35 equals 22 so he earns 22 euro per hour okay now the question says that the first um, 35 hours is basic week but he worked 42 hours so we want to find out how many hours of overtime so overtime hours equals 42 hours minus 35 equals 7 Hours. He did seven hours overtime. So the first five of these are calculated at time and a half. So the way we do that is five hours by time and a half, which is 1.5, by his hourly rate, 22. So we'll do that in our calculator. So 22, we'll do five by 1.5 by 22 equals 165. The next thing we know is that he has two hours at double time because he did seven hours of overtime in total. Five of these are at time and a half and any in excess of that were at double time. And we know that two by two is four by 22 is 88. Add these together, so 165 plus 88 and his total overtime was 253. Back to our pay slip, 253. Gross pay is your basic plus overtime plus 770 equals 1,023. Little note, um, P-A-Y-E, P-R-S-I, and U-S-C, all calculated off gross pay. Okay. So his tax credit is next. What does it say in the question? Uh, his annual tax credit is 3,380. Okay, so using my working box for tax credit, um, 
three, three, eight, oh, and we want to get it weekly because we're working on a weekly wage slip. So it's 3380 divided by 52. 52 is the number of weeks in the year. Remember that there are only 52 weeks in the year. 3380 divided by 52 equals 65 euro. So his weekly tax credit is equal to 65 euro. Another note for you. These are handy things to be studying on the lead up to your junior cycle exam were you to get a more complicated wage slip like this. Tax credit is only subtracted from PAYE. And that's where we're going next. So using our rule that PAYE is only calculated off gross pay, it's going to be 1,023 multiplied by 1023 sorry wrong box 1023 multiplied by and we can see from the question that he pays 40 percent 0 0.40 that's the way i calculate percentage you might have a different way and that's fine 5.40 equals 409.20 now as you can see from my calculator it said 409.2. There is no such thing as 0.2 when we're talking about money. Okay, so it's 0.20, 20 cent. There's no such thing as 0.2 of a cent. It's 20 cents, so write down 20 cent. Okay, now this is our calculation for PAYE, PAYE. Using our rule that tax credit is only subtracted from PAYE, we take away our tax credit. We get 344.20. And again, you can see my calculator is 344.2. And when we're talking about money, we, we, we just write that in as 20 cent. Okay. So back to PAYE, 344.20. Okay, PRSI is next. Uh, I'm going to calculate that up here. Because I have very little room. So he pays PRSI at 10.5%. And again, using our rule, PRSI in USC calculated off gross pay. So 1023 by 0 0.105. That's equivalent to 10.5%, 0 0.105, okay? So 1023 multiplied by 0 0.105 equals 107.42. One oh seven point four one five. I rounded that up to point four two. Okay, so one oh seven point four two. Just going to go back here to our gross pay for a sec. I forgot to fill in the workings box. So seven seventy plus two five three equals one oh two three. Okay, health insurance. He pays forty euro and savings. He pays 75. Add all of our deductions together. So PAYE 344.20 plus 107.42 plus 40 euro plus 75 equals 566.62 cent. Okay. So finally to get our net pay little note, gross pay minus deductions equals net pay. Okay, so it's 1,023, 1,023 minus 566.62 equals 456, 456, 38. Okay, so I hope that was of help to you. And that, I suppose, is a long, a longer type of wage slip question taken from the 2017 Higher Level Business Studies paper. Okay, if you have any questions, just uh, drop them down in the comment box. Thank you.